welcome back to the vlog i'm gabby from gabadashery and today i'm showing you my pattern stash i hope you're all well and having a lovely week um i do apologize i am a bit coldy so sorry if it sounds a bit blah. so i have a lot of sewing patterns and i don't sew up enough of them but i just thought it would be really fun to show you what i've got and show you my beautiful shelving um and uh and you know how i store them and stuff so yeah i thought that'd be nice so without further ado let's start with the patterns okay so first up uh my beautiful pattern shelves were made from old bits of ikea drawers um me and my husband um made them basically yeah over like a day and painted them and everything and added the little labels and just some door handles just for a bit of fun really there's no no real um, <laughs> uh, practical use for this but they look cute um so i have them um in categories so this is kids outerwear and crafts then dresses then tops and bottoms and then pdf patterns i'm not going to go into my pdf patterns today because they are such a mess I haven't had a chance to sort through them, but I will just show you a little peek of how I store them and then uh, I'll probably do a separate PDF patterns video at some point. So yeah, kids, outerwear and crafts. Let's have a look at them. So I've got lots of like crafty packs that I got from magazines up here. Um, some bag making patterns, uh, some vinyl from Happy Fabric up here. I hope you can see everything okay that's a bit better um and and some kind of accessories so things like gather the talus which is so cute it's a little collar um and it's gorgeous and uh yeah i just noticed how that's all falling down the back whoops and then kids patterns lots of lovely kids patterns here um lots of the big four and then i'll get into my indie stuff in a bit i love this as well this is from sewing sanctuary poncho that i've already made for b um and these as well the flory dungarees in fact kate and i spoke about this in the last quick unpick um and it's by paper pattern scissors and i love that pattern i want to make that again and another one by them is the avery romper so cute um and i haven't bought patterns for a really long time actually so it's really nice to see all this this is good for me so i can look for and go oh yes i've got that pattern and i don't have to stick it together <laughs> um more mccall's and then i've got some coats as well so some coats in here okay i've actually swapped my video around to um the non-cinematic so it doesn't look as good but at least you can see everything because it was all going a bit blurry so yeah so coats up here simple sew trench coat i love that pattern um and then some pajamas from tilly and the button the fifi so yeah and also a magazine up here um that i think megan gave me october magazine and it's all kids patterns it's so cute so it's a bit random up there to be honest a little bit random i'll have to work that out at some point um but yeah kids out wearing crafts that's what i called it and that's what it is <laughs> uh now the dresses this is my favorite bit so there are um some like vintage patterns here we've got some you know things like this and i love my vintage patterns i've got some that are a bit more a bit better looked after back here oh love it um they don't fit me the sizes of vintage patterns don't fit many people let's be honest um but i'm not ready to get rid of them um they're so beautiful and i just love them so my vintage patterns and all the kind of precious ones are in um plastic covers just to keep them safe especially out in the sew house where the bugs like to be um so yeah these are i mean these are kind of retro retro patterns in here and then we've got things like Soholic so a lot of indie in here now um some free with magazines cotton and shorts I love this pattern I made that already that's a great one uh oh I wish I didn't sound so bunged up Ugh. um <laughs> 
this is one that I've been wanting to make for years. I really need to make it. It's so cool and it's really simple. And if you look at the line drawing, it's just basically like a square with some gathering. So yeah, I do really need to make that. Um, but let's have a look at the indie patterns. So we've got some sew over it. So there's the Doris dress, which I've made and the vintage shirt dress, dress which I've made. Um, I'm just going to put them all down here. It's getting a bit messy already. Um, the Victory Hazel, I have not made. I really love Victory patterns. I need to make that because I have made the Lola and I love the Lola. And I made it in this kind of deep burgundy, um, like boucle, boucle, boucle. I don't know how you call that. Um, uh, like furry. <laughs> not even furry bobbly bobbly kind of fabric and I really really loved it and it had stretch in it it was from Minerva Crafts and I don't know if I've told you already but a big bag of my clothes that I made went to a charity shop by accident just after B was born um courtesy of my lovely husband and I can't make him feel guilty about it because he already feels so awful but it was heartbreaking and that was one of the things in there my my burgundy Lola I miss it anyway we're not going to go down that path. Uh, by Hand London, Anna dress. Love it. Made it in lace, in black lace. Uh, I've been wanting to make this for ages. Come on. I've got to make it. The Merchant and Mills shirt dress. And I even have a beautiful pinstriped blue and white fabric for it, which will be gorgeous. I mean, look, what a lovely pattern. Um, then some more freebies. All of these lovely freebies from, um, what magazine is this? Yeah, Simply Sewing. Really lovely dresses. My favourite of that is the drop set. I love this. Really, really like making this pattern. I made the dress and it's in blue and I wear it a lot. I love it. Um, and then some more indies. Let's bring out the indies. So we've got Deer and Doe, a cardamom, 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 yeah, cardamom, I don't know, but I made this in this lovely, again, it was another Minerva project, um, in this lovely kind of daisy viscose, and it's beautiful, I really, really love that dress, um, and I made the sleeveless version, so it's perfect for summer, really love that pattern. Um, I am Cassiope, yay, that's a great pattern as well, and I am patterns, I really like their packaging, bit of gold, um, indie patterns really have gone to town with their packaging, and I'm fully, fully invested and receptive of that, I love their packaging, so Deer and Doe, also lovely packaging, the Robe Blue, I really want to make this, it's such a beautiful dress, I don't remember where any of these have come from, by the way, so I'm not saying many shops because I just don't remember. <laughs> right, the Tilly stash. We've got lots of Tilly. I think, is this all of them? So we got Saren, uh, Bettine, which I have made. I haven't made Saren, but I have made Bettine. I did make Francoise and was a runner up in the Francoise competition. <laughs> there we go and i haven't made stevie i should make stevie it's so easy. like a nice simple quick make i should make stevie because i probably would love it and live in it um right let's go down to the tops okay the tops so there's a lot of big four in here a lot of simplicity uh mccall's new look lots of that and loads of simple so Wait, those are dresses. They're in the wrong place. That's embarrassing. Lots of Simple Sew. I worked with Simple Sew for a bit, so I did get all of their patterns um, sent to me. So that's why that is the stack of Simple Sew patterns. And there's lots of great ones that I really, really love in there, actually. Um, right, so back to tops. On my list for a really long time, in fact, I think I've talked about it in loads of different fabric hauls and stuff, but still haven't made it is Closet Case Patterns Cali. Love that. I love that little shirt dress. It's so cute. Or the little shirt, more likely. Um, uh, lots of kind of more retro. <laughs> lots of retro stuff. Some vintage as well. Um, I always really wanted to make just this cute little, this little pin tuck 
shirt i think that's such a cute one uh some mccall's jumpers and stuff i'm seeing quite a lot that i want to de-stash to be honest so that's really good um so if you see anything that you want that i might not keep an eye on my de-stash it might come up soon um yeah simple tops i kind of also think they're really good for learning new techniques so I learned how to do a full bust adjustment on one of those, so I kind of really tore it apart and learned how to make that on a simple top. Um, we've got the Linden sweatshirt, which I think we've all made <laughs> by Grainland Studio. Uh, Megan Nilsson, I love her patterns and I really love her um, pattern packaging. So that's the Rowan. Although I think she's changed her whole pattern packaging again quite recently because she does change it a lot and that's really good i think you know keep changing it's brilliant we'll all stick with you um more i am patterns so the i am hermes is one of my favorite makes actually i love this shirt um and the i am serious Ooh, i am serious <laughs> that's really cute um too many patterns not enough time uh, da, 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 da. yeah more dresses in here i think i ran out of room for dresses obviously in the top bit because there's loads of dresses in here more simple so i'll put that in that pile <laughs> so this is actually me reorganizing isn't it this is not me showing you my stash this is just me reorganizing my stash um while you're watching thanks <laughs> no i'm obviously not i'm clearly just showing you guys but yeah there are a lot of dresses in there so they're in the wrong place basically all these dresses out um look at that i love it i really kind of every time i used to go to a chag shop i'd pick up a few little um sewing patterns and i really want to just make myself one of those hoodies and flares that's a great outfit uh yeah, lots of the big four here. It's funny that I have so many of the big four because actually I can't remember the last time I made something from the big four. Um, no, I'm a real indie girl, to be honest. When it comes to what I make and what sewing patterns I go for, it's normally going to be indie. So it's kind of funny that I have a huge collection of big four patterns and don't use them. So that's why the D-stash is definitely coming. It's on the cards. Um, but let's go check out the bottoms. OK, hello down here. So, in the bottoms, uh, we've got lots of dungarees, because I love making dungarees and lots of clots. Um, these look really cool. So, uh, Pipe Dream Patterns Willow Overalls. Love that. I love the really big, wide-legged um, dungaree. So, they're brilliant. And I think I've made these, because they are awesome. I think I made them... Oh, no, that's not even open, so that's impossible. Um, well, maybe I made them in a dream, but I will make them in real life at some point because they're brilliant. Um, and sorry, they're the Eliza M, the hop and swing pants. Love it. Um, I also would love to make some of these, maybe this summer. Who knows? More big four. I made those. They came up huge. I had to take them in so much. I made the dungaree and the dungaree dress, both of them. But I do really love the pattern, but I'm just letting you know that don't be alarmed if you make it and it comes up huge just take it in loads <laughs> it was just so big they were like massive clown pants um i really love deer and doe uh saffron pants these i made in denim recently so i've got some kind of tight jeans from the saffron pants which i love um and i've also made a mix with the high-waisted trousers and something else so yeah these are um all my trouser patterns and all of these as well loads more big four loads more collots these are cool schnitchen patterns love them clearly haven't opened them either um and then some uh sporty my action pack from my handmade wardrobe they're such lovely girls and they sent me these and um i think maybe i was about to be sporty at that time i didn't quite get there <laughs> But <laughs> there's still time to become more sporty, right? Um, yes. Okay, I'm putting these back. I'm not going to just make piles everywhere. Um, what else would I like to talk about? These were, this was the first pattern I ever bought. Still haven't made it, but I did buy it. Um, I got it on, I think, probably Amazon at the time. Uh, and I actually, I'm looking at it and I'm like, that is so cool. I love them. 
Wide Leg Trousers by Birda. I hadn't even heard of Birda. I just really wanted to make myself some really wide leg trousers and I hadn't made anything yet. So I think then I kind of fell down the dress hole before I got back to trousers. And then, you know, these were already buried in a pile somewhere. Um, I made these, made these high-waisted trousers. They're around somewhere. I still wear them. Um, um, what else have we got of interest here? Oh, okay, so this is skirts as well, because it's bottoms. One of my favourite patterns ever is the Victory Madeline. I love this skirt. I have worn it since I made it, like, definitely at least once a month, because I just really, really love this pattern. Once a... Oh, hello. Once a month doesn't feel like very much, actually. Sorry, my phone just dropped, and I can't work out where else it was. Um, but, you know, once a month, kind of, with then in the spring months a bit more um hmm. another tilly in the buttons one that i've made the ariel yeah lots of skirts back here um some the this is a great skirt i love this one oh it's getting quite tight back here the pauline alice rosary skirt or rosary maybe rosary um inspired by the 70s yes and i made it in a bright red corduroy with these really cool little retro inspired flower buttons from minerva crafts so i'm very very love that skirt actually and i think i will have to make some different lengths because there's so many options there i just love all the options i mean they can kind of confuse me a bit sometimes i'm like no more options i can't take them i just need to be told what to do but then at the same time, you know, you've got something in your head and you're like, ah, I have an option for that in a sewing pattern somewhere. So that's good. Um, I'm just going to show you one more from up here. Another of my favourite patterns is the Margot sewing pattern by So La Di Da. Um, and I've made two of these. One of these I changed the bodice to be the um, Flora by Hand London Flora. Um, but the other I did straight like this. Um, the other one is one of my lost patterns i've made a really beautiful chambray version oh right bring out the violins um but yeah i love these patterns i think they're gorgeous i love obviously you know that i love a retro inspired thing so these fit in really well and i remember when i got this i was trying to look for the fabric because that would be amazing i really really it's quite rare for me to see a pattern in a fabric and be like, I want exactly that. I don't want to change it at all because I normally kind of have ideas like how I want to change it and make it more me. But this one, I was like, no, nope, I want exactly that fabric. I want to look like that and I want that hat. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the bottoms. Um, so now I'll show you a little bit about my PDF patterns and then I'll leave you guys in peace. OK, so you can't really see me, so I'm just going to chat a bit about these. Um, but yeah, so this is my PDFs. This is a fraction of my PDFs. Like, there's a lot more up there that I'm not going to show you because it's too messy. But just to give you an idea, what I do is I have my dresses folder, which is jam-packed. And, um, oh, and I've just broken it. Yay! And everything is in plastic wallets in their own little kind of dividers. And there's probably about two or sometimes even three if they're by the same pattern designer in there. And you'll see that they're just basically, they're cut out, they're ready. There's the kilo wrap dress, one of the things I've made the most um, in its own little wallet. And then it goes in its own little divider because I don't have anything else by named. And there we go. And well, then maybe I didn't break it. We're okay. And they are pretty snug in there. And then some of them I've got kind of uh, just one in a folder because I haven't stored it away properly yet. <laughs> so that's what that is. There's no other reason for that other than I've been a little bit lazy. Um, and then, yeah, so that's my bottoms. And up there I've got all sorts of other stuff. I'm going to now film this where I'm not on the floor. Okay, so that's a little overview of my pattern stash. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw loads of things that you want to take home for yourself because I am going to be doing a de-stash soon. It's really good for me to go through these because I'm realising <laughs> how few 
few patterns I've actually made and how I need to get my butt into gear or, you know, move them on to someone else. So, yeah, thank you for giving me this opportunity for doing that. Um, anyway, I hope you're all well. I will hopefully speak to you next week and I love you lots. Take care.